Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I am going to show you guys current products that I'm loving at the moment. And it's not all makeup. Well, maybe it is. Uh, makeup, skincare, and like random stuff. But I'm very excited because I actually get to talk to you guys. Um, as you know, I moved. So I am in my new room right now. And I feel like I have more light. Um, especially right now since it's pretty early. So I love that I have more light in my room. So you guys could definitely um, see the color when I do makeup tutorials. I have not tried to do a makeup tutorial in the daytime yet but i feel like it's going to look way better my last video i filmed it in the nighttime so the lighting was like okay but i feel like you couldn't really see um the pure colors on my shadows and all of that but i'm gonna try to figure it out um i know you guys want more prom tutorials i'm going to try to do that probably this week let me know if you guys want to see this makeup look right here it's super easy um, but yeah, let's get started. First off, I'm going to talk about the Skinanavia uh, Finishing Spray. You guys probably tried the Urban Decay All Nighter Spray, which is one of my favorites. I have that one in my makeup kit. But I did try this one, and I really, really like it. I do wear makeup for long periods of time. Like, I'll do my makeup early in the morning, and then I'll go on through the whole day with my makeup. And I know that's really bad. I do let my skin breathe, though. Um, on days where I have nothing to do and I'm just home and I'm running errands, I won't put any makeup on. But like today I'm filming and I do have a few errands to run so I'm just like, I'm just going to leave my makeup on. But this really helps make your makeup stay. Um, it actually lasts a long time. It kind of seals everything in and I sprayed it today. Um, I did my makeup like a few minutes ago. And it just seals my makeup with this. Setting sprays are very important. I know a lot of girls feel like their makeup doesn't last a long time. And it all depends on how you set your makeup. Set your makeup with powders. You can set your makeup with make makeup spray. Um, but I do both. So I'll do a little bit of powder and I'll bake a little bit and spread it around. And then I'll seal it in with a makeup spray. So if you guys have watched my Fresh Face makeup tutorial, which I filmed when I was still living in my old house, which I filmed right after I was sick. Um, I had all these red dots on my face and all these clogged pores and pimples and I was just like, my skin was really bad. So I actually been trying this Paula's Choice Skin Perfecting um, BHA liquid. I'm obsessed with it. Um, it's actually very calming to my skin. There's a lot of products, especially if it has salicylic acid, my skin does not like it. I'll break out like crazy and it'll itch it'll irritate i'll get red but this one right here it's actually really good it's for all skin types and it creates radiant even toned skin it reduces redness and builds collagen and unclogs and diminishes enlarged pores so i got this off the actually i got this on the birchbox website there's a few things that i actually got on birchbox website just because i want to build my points um but this i did get on birchbox i believe it was like 20 something dollars and I only use a tiny bit. I'll get like a cotton round and I'll just sprinkle some of this on my cotton round and I'll put it all over my face. I do this at night because it does leave you a little shiny. It feels like an oil, but your skin absorbs it super fast and then I'll moisturize after. But it's been really working. I've been seeing a huge difference in my skin. Um, I'm breaking out a little bit right here. I'm guessing it's hormonal. So this is another product that I got on the Birchbox website. Um, it's the Dr. Jart Ceramidin. It's a moisturizer cream and it's amazing. If you guys have tried this, let me know what you guys think about it. Ceramidin does have like, um, an oil and it has, um, a liquid form, but I like the cream. It's so moisturizing. It does not break my skin out. It's good for all skin types. Um, for oily skin, you might think it's a little too heavy, but it's not really that heavy. Oh my gosh, I'm just showing you everything that I got on Birchbox. Okay, so... This is another product that I'm obsessed with. I talk about this a lot. You probably saw this on my Snapchat, but it's a Suki Exfoliate Foaming <laughs> Cleanser, and it exfoliates your skin. It smells so good. It's like a sugar-based scrub with lemon in it. It smells amazing. I love this stuff. I use this to exfoliate. This is the only product that I have that exfoliates my skin gently. So when you're exfoliating your skin, you do want to focus on areas that are dry. So I get really dry around my nose and my chin and like around my mouth. I get really dry there. 
So you do have to remove the dead skin that sits on your face. That's another thing a lot of women don't know that they do need to exfoliate. It's like fresh skin, all the dead skin is gone. You want to remove that layer. That way when you apply your moisturizer, your serums, anything like that, your skin is going to absorb it because there's nothing that's blocking the good stuff from getting into your skin. So you do want to remove that top layer of skin and you do want to get a gentle exfoliator. There's a lot of exfoliators out there that are very harsh and they're just damaging your skin. I used to be um, one of those girls that would love the apricot scrub. I probably talked about it before but it did mess up my skin so bad and I would just exfoliate and exfoliate and I was like why isn't this working and it was just because it was too harsh on my skin but this Suki one is very gentle it has an expiration date and everything but a little bit goes a long way I love this stuff this stuff right here I hope they never discontinue it because it's everything in a bottle like this bottle I think it was like 21 something so worth the money I'm amazed this is the only thing that I put in my hair now um, I was using oil for like my ends but other than that right here I love this stuff. It's a leave-in conditioner. Um, it's a Beauty Protect um, leave-in conditioner. Uh, it's an instant detangler. It adds shine. It's a thermal protector, UV protector. It seals cuticles, smooths hair, locks in color. It's for all hair types. It's everything you want for your hair. The smell is a little bit too strong. Not that I don't love it. I love the smell. But maybe for some of you guys who don't like strong smells you probably won't like it but honestly once you spray it in your hair the smell just stays in your hair and it makes your hair smell really good it's not like a super strong smell i use it today and i use it on my hair extensions actually um i have my hair straight I actually straightened it with my favorite straightening iron which i'm gonna get to in a second but these two the with the leave-in conditioner or the heat protectant with that hair straightener is like everything my hair looks really healthy and it feels so soft i've never felt my hair this soft ever even my hair extensions like i spray some of my hair extensions because i wanted them to smell good and they smell really good they don't smell like burnt or anything i know if you guys use hair extensions you guys know what i'm talking about i've been really liking these sephora bright feature concealers you guys see me use these on my makeup tutorials because I have not switched concealers. This is the only one that I've been using. And I'm just obsessed with it. Like I use 08 for underneath my eyes. And this one is 10. This one was the first one that I got. And I honestly felt like I needed something lighter to brighten up underneath my eyes. But this concealer is a bomb. It does not crease for me. It honestly does not crease. I'll set it with my Airspun Loose Powder. And it doesn't look cakey underneath my eyes. I've tried so many concealers with the Airspun and they just look cakey and, you know, flaky because I'm very dry underneath my eyes. I feel like this moisturizes, it hydrates, and it covers my dark circles. I haven't been sleeping right these days. It says it's a gel serum concealer. Maybe that's why I feel like it's so hydrating, but I really like what it does. It just brightens everything up. It conceals any dark circles. And I feel like they just came out with um, color correctors. So I'm <clears throat> definitely excited to try those. So yeah, we'll see how that goes. But for the summer, I feel like I'm going to be um, shade 10. So I'm kind of glad that I have two just because I know that in the summertime, I'm going to need that. You guys have seen me um, use this straightening iron in my video. I just want to say that I still do love this straightening iron. It's the only one that I've used. I also use it to curl my hair, which is amazing because it heats up so fast. And I don't have to sit around, you know, for my straightening iron to heat up. It heats up in seconds. And <laughs> I'm obsessed with it. It's just such a cute straightening iron. It's plain gray color, which I don't mind. Um, I'm kind of over, like, the super bright colored straightening irons. I just feel like colors like this are like my go-to now but I'm obsessed with this it's from Vanity Planet I'll put a link down below so you guys could check it out I'm really liking this straightening iron if you guys want to watch my video on how I straighten my hair I'll put it down below you guys are going to fall in love with this straightening iron if you guys bought it and you guys like it let me know um, let me know what you guys thought about it I just felt like it's a really good straightening iron definitely worth the money and it has like this spiral thing which my problem is I'm always like looking around or doing something and my cords get messed up but this one kind of swirls with you so you'll be good to go. It should last you a long time. 
So another thing that I want to talk about is this Daniel Wellington watch. I love this watch. I'm obsessed with it. I love that it's black and silver. I don't have anything like this. I just have like my gold Michael Kors watch and I had a few other Michael Kors watches but um, they broke and then I lost some and it was just a disaster. But this one is just so simple. You could either dress it up and wear it by itself or you could dress it down and put like different bracelets on it and it's just going to look super cute. I love the size. Um, of this watch. It's just a very lightweight watch. Sometimes when I'm working I feel like my watch is too heavy and my hands start hurting, my wrists will start hurting. And the other day I was actually working for, I was working for a long time and I was wearing my Michael Kors watch and I was just like why does my wrist hurt so bad? And it was just because those watches are pretty heavy. This one is so lightweight and I just love how simple and chic it is. I'm obsessed with it. Um, if you guys want to check out Daniel Wellington watches, I'll put a link down below. And I do have a coupon code as well. So you guys could check it out for 15% off. And I'm sure you guys will be very pleased with your watch. It's so cute. They even have like a rose gold one. So amazing. Check out their watches. I'm sure you guys will fall in love with them. Okay, I lied. I had one more product that's from Birchbox. And it's this Orbe. Aubrey's Beach Wave and Shine Spray. If you guys know about Orbe, you guys know how amazing it is. And I'm obsessed with this spray. It smells so good. I would just spray it in my hair just because, you know, it smells amazing. But when you have, like, wavy hair or if you want, like, more volume and a little bit of shine, especially that summer is coming, you definitely want to have those beautiful beach waves, that messy hair. And this is the perfect spray for that. You just spray it in your hair. The nozzle is really small. It smells so good and it just shoots out like that. But you just spray it in your hair. It smells good. Oh my god. I love it. But yeah, definitely try to check out Orbe. Um, they have very good products for your hair. Um, the Opera's Beach one is my favorite. I also love the dry texturizing one. But I definitely wanted this one because it does have um, that shine effect to it. Um, and it's not like an intense shine. It's very, very natural. And your waves will look on point. I love this stuff. So another product, well, makeup product that I've been loving is this Sigma blush. This is a Cor de Rosa blush. It is such a pretty blush. It reminds me a lot of Melba from MAC. It looks kind of like Copper Tone from MAC. It's in between those peachy, corally shades. This is going to be perfect for the summertime. It's so pigmented, so you only need a tiny bit and it will last you forever, but the packaging is just the cutest ever. I love Sigma's packaging. And this is a really big blush. It has a mirror as well, so you can just throw it in your bag and, you know, touch yourself up with anything. It's so light and skinny. It will just fit in your purse. I love this um, blush. So this mascara right here, I would use, and then I'll put it away, and then I'll use it again. But I've been using it lately and on stock. This is the only mascara I've been using. And this is the Lorac Cobra Mascara. Maybe I should put some on my lower lashes right now. Mascara on the lower lash? No mascara. It just opens up your eyes like crazy. So I'm just going to talk about these brushes right here. They're all eye brushes. And I've been using these like crazy. They're all Sigma except for this little guy. This one's by Morphe. But they are all the Sigma, the rose gold, and black brushes i am so obsessed with them i'm just going to talk about each one real quick uh this one is the sigma blending in e36 so let me talk about this one first <laughs> this one is a flat definer e15 it's a very skinny um flat top brush whenever i want to deposit any shadow right underneath my lower lash line i'll deposit the color with this and then I'll go in with my blending E36 and I'll blend it out and diffuse the color. So it looks really pretty. I did that today on my lower lash. And then this one is the Medium Sweeper E54. I love this one to apply shadow onto my lid. Um, and before I apply any shadow to my lid, like I did today, I use the Cream Color E58. And this one, I just grabbed my... Um, I did my blending in my crease and then I grabbed my... Uh, primer and I pat it onto the lid that way when I go back in with my E54 and the shadow it just deposits the color and it looks like 
your wet shadow. It will deposit the color and it will definitely stand out if you want to do something like what I did today. Um, so a cream color, you can even use like the Soft Ochre Paint Pot by MAC or you could use um, any cream color base onto your lid and then deposit your shadow. That way your shadow pops more. The Kat Von D eye primer that I use has a tint of yellow in it. That's why I really like that one. Um, and then of course the Morphe E24 is my favorite blending brush for the crease. It's just so smooth and soft. This is the Gunmetal Collection. Um, and again, it's the G24 by Morphe. So you just deposit your crease color. It blends it so nice. Um, the EO6 is the Wings Eyeliner Brush. It's a very small angled brush. I love to do my Wings Eyeliner with this brush. It's so small and thin and light. It's very easy to create your Wings Liner. And I do like to pair this with the Sigma Wicked Gel Liner, which is my favorite eyeliner ever, ever. Um, even one of the e.l.f. one. Uh, and I'm out of it, I think. It's like empty. <sighs> I'm almost out. I have like two more uses and that's it. But I'm definitely going to have to purchase another gel aligner from Sigma. The Diffuse Crease Brush by Sigma, the E38, is what I use into my crease. So let's say you're blending onto your um, crease like a transition color. And then you want to deepen up the crease with a darker brown or a black, any deeper darker color and you just really want to get in there like I did today I'll use a brush like this because it's very it's a long narrow brush and it has like a very fluffy end so definitely get in there and you can definitely blend any color and then this one is also my favorite the buff and blend e39 so let's say you just want to deposit like a dark brown you can use um, the e38 to diffuse that color onto your crease and then with this buffing one you just kind of blend the edges a little bit so they're not harsh. So these brushes right here are very, very good tools if you are starting to do makeup or if you are a makeup artist and you just want to try different brushes. I really do recommend the Sigma eye brushes. They're amazing. I do have a few um, face brushes by Sigma, but I'm obsessed with their eye brushes. They are really, really good. Every brush has a different purpose and you can just find out what works well for you but I will definitely put um, the link down below to these brushes and I will put the names of the brushes that I mentioned as well and what I use them for so yeah that's it for this video I hope you guys enjoyed it and if you guys are wondering what nail polish I'm wearing I kind of messed this one up but it is Tiramisu for two by OPI one of my favorite nude colors I'll put the name down below for you guys as well but I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Make sure to like my video. Comment down below for any questions. If you guys have tried any of these products, let me know what you guys think about them. And I will see you guys in my next video. Bye, guys.